garage. Where to? To the terrace. Can you see the harbor? You can see Montmartre. And the Champs Elysees. And the Place Blanche. I love the Place Blanche. Oh, I can't. I can't leave my friend. But I'll come back. When? As soon as I can. When? Tomorrow. How can I be sure? I never break a promise. Mr. Farrell, this is Gates. I'm here in Madison, Wisconsin. I've got birth certificates, passport IDs, and a marriage license for you. Good work. And get this. The guy she married used to be a Catholic priest. A priest? Yeah, how about that? Looks like he dropped his robes for her. He's the principal now at the high school she teaches at. Great. All right, fax me everything you've got, okay? I need it right away. Okay, you got it. Can I go swimming tomorrow? Ooh, well, you could if they had a swimming pool, but I don't think they have one here. So you can swim in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> you can't swim in the bathtub. Oh, yes, you can. So, you want me to uh, run this bath? No, no, I'll do it. You relax. Jeannie, don't run from me. Who are you? What the hell are you doing in here, huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. Oh. Yeah, right. You're the one who busted into my place. I'm turning you in, buddy. Now, why are you following my wife, huh? She happens to be my wife. She disappeared seven years ago in Mexico. You're crazy. I'm crazy? I have a photo of her right here. You can get it. Right here, on the inside pocket. Take a look. That's Jean Farrell. That's my wife. I am very sorry your wife disappeared, but that has got nothing to do with us. We'll see. We'll see. He is lying! I told you, she gave me her key and asked me to meet her in her room. She never said anything about having a husband. No, I know, you meet a woman in a bar, you're taking a chance, right? But how am I supposed to know? When I'm up here on business, I'm a little lonely, is that a crime? I can't believe you're buying this line of crap. Did he steal anything from your room? No, he didn't. Then there's really nothing I can do. The guy is harassing my wife. Don't you understand that? What goes on between you and him and your wife is none of my business. But you, you stay away from him. While you're in my hotel, you stay away from him. You hear me? It's fine with me. But you really should keep a shorter leash on that wife of yours. You know what I mean? She's a very beautiful woman. His name is Farrell. He's some hotshot lawyer with a big-time law firm in Los Angeles named uh, Stedman, Jenner, and Gold or something. I don't, I just don't get it. Why is he doing this? He says that you're his wife. What? He showed me a wedding picture. I mean, there's a likeness. He's crazy. He's crazy. Maybe we should go home. No, absolutely not. We're not going to let this nut ruin our vacation. I mean, what about my speech? I'm just going to walk out on that? No, let's not be irrational about this. 
Then let's at least move to another hotel right now. Megan, it's 10 o'clock at night. The security office knows about him. So let's not overreact, okay? Okay. Peter. Checking in, sir? Yes. back, Sarah. Your wife? This bastard that she's with now attacked me. Sean, your wife has been dead for seven years. She disappeared, Sarah. You know that. There's never any proof that she died. Wait a minute. I'm lost here. Someone want to film me here? Jeannie went down to Mexico City for an economic conference in September 1985. While she was down there, there was this big earthquake. Earthquake? The building she was in just totally collapsed. So I went, I, I went down there, I made inquiries, I talked to everybody that I could find, just nothing. They never found the body. But I never gave up hope. I never gave up hope. Sean, this doesn't make any sense. Now, come on. Pull yourself together. We have a very tricky deal starting tomorrow, and I want you at your best. Have I ever let you down? Have I ever let you down? Get some sleep and put some ice on that, okay? I guess if anyone asks, we'll say it was mine. <laughs> 